Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how to resolve this parsing error which many of you might have faced while downloading or installing any of the apps in the Digipad. Now since I have started my channel many of the users or many of my subscribers of my channel have been commenting on the videos that they are getting a parsing error when they try to install the apps and it's the parsing error looks something like this and it shows up a, a window that it says that there is a problem parsing the package. Now many of you have commented below, many of you have messaged me personally and also written in Facebook and every other social media outlets that you are facing a parsing error whenever you are trying to download or you are trying to install any of the apps which I have shown you how to download and install in the Digipad. Now the technique which works in my Digipad may not necessarily work in your Digipad and due to compatibility issues and an improper download you will be facing a parsing error and because of this parsing error you will not be able to install the apps. Now in case you do get a parsing error in this video I am going to show you how to resolve this how what is the solution for this parsing error and how you can install the any of the apps easily on your digipad without getting any sort of a parsing error so let's just go ahead and let's get started <laughs> So guys if you are facing a difficulty in downloading and installing any of the apps which are featured in my channel page and if you are getting a parsing error now I am going to show you the various different kinds of ways you can install the app on the digipad and not necessarily download the app directly on the digipad and face a parsing error. Now the first requirement for you in order to download and install any of the apps in digipad is that you need to have a laptop or a personal computer at hand. If this is there the work is going to be much much easier so if you have a computer a home computer your personal or your office one or you have a laptop then you can do this very easily and very comfortably so make sure you have got a laptop or a personal computer and once you get that we can go ahead and I can show you how to download and install the apps now in case you don't know I mean in case you don't have a laptop or a personal computer even then you can still download and install the apps on the digipad I'm going to show that further down in the video so keep watching and just a reminder in case you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and hit that red colored subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and also like this video because I am going to be bringing out many more interesting videos for our cars for our digipad as well so go ahead and subscribe so now let's go let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to download and install the apps using the laptop method now I have shown this method previously for the two videos which I put up in the last two weeks I have already shown that but this video is dedicated video for all those people who are facing a parsing error so the first thing which you need to have in order to do the uh, method is that you need to have a pen drive or the micro SD card which you have inserted in your digipad. So either of one of these can will work out. So in case you have a pen drive you don't need the micro SD card and if you have a micro SD card you don't need a pen drive and if you have both well it's more more the merrier it's good and in case you have a card reader I mean in case you have a SD card then you need a card reader like this in order to access the SD card content via your laptop so make sure you have either one of these things such as the pen drive or the micro SD card and in case you have a micro SD card you need to have a card reader also so now I'll just go ahead and show this method using a pen drive and you can apply the same method for the micro SD card as well so you need you can just follow this and make sure you get to know you can get to understand what exactly is the procedure and how you can implement this in your car and there is as I said there is one more way wherein you don't need a pen drive and also you don't need a micro SD card you can transfer the files wirelessly to the digipad using your smartphone I'm going to show that also in further in the video so now let's just go ahead and open up the Google Chrome browser on your laptop or on your computer and once you have opened this uh, the particular app whichever you want to download and install the uh, download and install in your digipad I would have surely given a link in my video the link which you have to type in into the URL address so in this case for this uh, ex videos example I'm going to take the Firefox browser and I'm going to show you how to download and install the Firefox browser without having any parsing error because that is one of the most commented apps regarding 
uh, getting a parsing error so i'll just go ahead and download and install and show you the firefox browser using this alternate method so the url address for the firefox browser is this that is bit.ly slash travel tech firefox so once you have typed in this address in your chrome browser on your laptop or your computer just press the enter button and wait for that web page to load so as you can see the web page has loaded and there is a firefox browser uh, app uh, apk mirror web page has opened up so once the apk mirror page opens up just scroll down and click on the download apk button now in some of the videos i have given direct links to the websites and in most of my other videos i have given a link to the google drive page which i personally created so that you can download it much easier than downloading from a direct website uh, link so in case i have given a google drive link you can also use the google drive link as well you will get a download button right in the middle of the screen you can just have to click on that download and in case you have given a link for a website directly you can go ahead and download it from the website as well you just have to give make a one or two steps more extra for that that's all so now once i click on the download it is going to ask me where to save the app now i'll just select the desktop because it is easier to access and i'll just click on the save button so as you can see the app has downloaded and saved on the desktop now this is not in digipad now it has saved in your computer well how to transfer it to digipad well the app is right here on the home screen on the desktop so once you have this just go ahead and take your pen drive or your micro sd card in case you have a micro sd card so once you have your card reader just insert the micro sd card into the card reader like this so that it can be accessed via the laptop and if you have a pen drive you can use it immediately and directly and insert it into the laptop without a need of any adapter so right now i am going to plug in my usb pen drive sony pen drive into the laptop or in case you have a pc you can plug it into its usb drive as well and uh, in case you have a micro sd card with a uh, card reader you can also insert this into the pen drive slot usb slot wherever it is available so in this example in this video i am just going to use the pen drive so once the pen drive has been inserted go to the downloaded apk file on the desktop as it is here because uh, well, this application is not going to install in the windows so there's no point in clicking uh, double clicking here so just click right click on the app and click on the send to button so once the send to button gets opened up your pen drive which you have inserted into your pc or your laptop is going to get detected and in this case it is the sony pen drive in my this in this video's example so i'll just click on the sony button so now the app is going to get copied from the desktop to the pen drive using a copier so once the app gets copied completely make sure it is downloaded i mean copied properly and completely and do not remove the pen drive until and unless the copying dialog box completes its process and the entire file gets copied properly so now the copying has completed and the app has been transferred from the desktop to the pen drive now once this is done just go ahead and click on the show hidden menu button here and click on the eject usb drive because this needs to be uh, done properly in case the file uh, is not downloaded properly and if you remove the pen drive without ejecting here the file might get corrupted and may also not install in the digipad so make sure you eject the pen drive from the right down corner of your desktop or laptop and only after that you can remove the pen drive and safely you can transfer the file from the pen drive to the digipad now the same way you have to follow using a card reader and the micro sd card as well as you just saw i just inserted the card reader and in the same same way which i showed you just have to right click on the file uh, which you have downloaded to your laptop or computer and send it to the micro sd card it will give up a pop up window you can send it right there and once that is done again you have to click on the eject remove safely button and once you click on the eject remove safely it is going to eject out and then you can remove the card reader and along with the micro sd card inserted into the card reader so these are the two methods which you can uh, use in order to copy the file from the internet and copy it from your laptop or your personal computer to the pen drive or the micro sd card which you can insert in your digipad now the third method which you can do is the wireless method wherein you don't need a pen drive you don't need a micro sd card and also you don't need a laptop or a computer as well what you need is just your smartphone yes it is mandatory to have a smartphone you cannot do this if you have a feature phone like the older phones which had no internet connection you need to have a smartphone with a proper wi-fi connection and once you have a proper wi-fi connection phone 
and a smartphone the latest smartphone you can create a hotspot and connect to the digipad wirelessly and in case you want to know in detail how to do that i'll leave a link right here on top of the screen so this is the link guys just click on this video and you will get to find out how you can transfer files from your smartphone to the digipad wirelessly without the need for a pen drive or a micro sd card so in case you don't have a pen drive you don't have a micro sd card or you don't have an access to a pc or a laptop i ideally don't think so one of these things will be available for everyone else but in just in case you don't have access to any of these things and you only have a smartphone with your hand you can transfer the files wirelessly so just click on the link above which i just showed there so once you click on that and also leave a link in the description also just go and watch that video you will understand how you can transfer files wirelessly so you need to download the file on your smartphone using the same link which i have given in the video you have to use the google chrome browser of your smartphone same type in the same url address in your smartphone and download it on your smartphone and once the application gets downloaded on your smartphone you can transfer it wirelessly using the method which i just showed which i have shown in the other video so if you want to get to know that just go ahead and click on that video and find out now we have downloaded the app in our pen drive i am going to show you how you can install this app in your digipad without getting a parsing error now the this is the most reliable method and uh, well, if you try downloading directly on the digipad many of the guys have faced a parsing error and of course even in the future you will face a parsing error but this method which i'm going show which i'm showing you right now this will definitely not get a parsing error and the installation will happen properly and completely so let's just go ahead and i'll show you how you can install the app which i just downloaded from the internet and copy it from my laptop into this pen drive so that i can go ahead and download so that i can go ahead and install it on the digipad safely and properly so guys once you have transferred the required app on your pen drive or your micro sd card just insert the pen drive or the micro sd card in case it's a micro sd card insert it in the micro sd card slot and in case it's a pen drive you can insert it in the pen drive slot so once you have done that the next thing which you need to do is make sure you have the es file explorer installed on your digipad now the es file explorer installs easily and it doesn't give a parsing error if you install it properly just make sure that you install it using the default browser of the digipad and also select the default browser while using the download dialog box so if you use the default downloading browser default browser all the way it will install properly and it is going to work well in the digipad so once you have this elf es file explorer just click on the es file explorer and wait for its home page to load out so once the es file explorer opens up just click on the three dotted dots on the left top corner of the screen and click on the home page button so once you have clicked on the home page button here you can access the pen drive or the sd card whichever you have inserted in your digipad easily so right now as you can see there is a u disk written here which is the pen drive which i have inserted in my digipad if i just click on this u disk now it is going to open up and show the firefox browser which i just copied from my laptop so here is the org.mozilla this is the apk file now if i just click on this apk file it is going to ask me to install it so if i click on the install button right here now it is the time it usually shows the parsing error but right now in this case it is not showing a parsing error and since i have already installed the firefox browser it is just asking me to replace the application so if i just click on the ok button now as you can see the installation dialog box has opened up and there is no parsing error so if i just click on the install button back again it is going to install the app very swiftly and very neatly so you won't have any sort of a parsing error or an installation error whenever you try and download and install the apps using this method so the next time you face a parsing error before commenting on the video that the link is not working or you're getting a parsing error just make sure you try out this method just check out this video and as you can see here right now the application has installed and if i just click on the open button the mozilla firefox does open up and work properly and work very well this will apply to any app not necessarily mozilla firefox this was just an example to show you uh, the i use the mozilla firefox browser but you can use this method to download and install any of the apps which i have shown in my channel so if you are facing any issues or errors while downloading and installing any of these apps which i have shown on my channel just check out this video just make sure you download and install it using the method which i just show you right now and you can do it easily and of course as i said there is also a wireless method where 
where you can transfer the files from your smartphone to the digipad i have given a link in the description also you can check that out you can check that out so that you in case you don't have a pen drive or a micro sd card you can transfer the files wirelessly and install it using the same way using the es file manager so this is it guys i hope this solves all your problems this i hope this solves all the parsing error issues for you guys so the next time you try and download an application and you get a parsing error make sure you try this method this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day